Hello and welcome to the maiden edition of Kiara School, a short film making competition for the students of classes 9 to 12, organized by the Readers Club of La Martinia for Boys. This event was conceptualized keeping in mind the creative, imaginative, and practical connotations of filmmaking during the pandemic, and the participating teams definitely did not disappoint. Each film had its own merits and perks and were judged as such. However, since this is a competition, only the best films could move forward to the finals. As such, four films were shortlisted and sent to a panel of external judges who evaluated the films and sent back the results. But before that, we will show to you all the films as well as a message from each of the judges and a written message from our principal. So without any further ado, let's move into the principal's message. Hello. Yeah, he's in. Hello. Yes, Dad, I've already eaten. No, I haven't been watching Netflix all day. Yes, Stan did come over yesterday and I did what you told me to. No sleepovers. And just so that it makes you feel better, I am the only person I Hello? Keeps running out. I think really needs to be changed. use this
four modules of that. What happened? I, I don't know. It was... It was uh, I don't remember. How are you feeling now? Pains. That's just better not. <laughs> what? The best is My name is Shadli Mitra and I am a cast member of the short film Mirage. Uh, Mirage is a film, it's a short film about a boy, uh, a boy of about my age, about say a teenager and uh, well the boy doesn't have a name. Why the boy doesn't have a name? Because this is a very Ernest Hemingway kind of tactic that I have chosen to implement here that uh, the boy not having a name mm, kind of you know prevents giving him a personality because so that you know you can understand that there are not he's just not he's not an a unique individual you know there are lots of kids like him out there and that's uh the crux of this movie that's the essence of the movie yeah. being a part of mirage it's really been a fun experience for me meeting up with friends and working together on a project like this has really helped us grow and bond one thing that i've taken away from this movie has to be to appreciate the dedication and hard work that goes into our long movies. If nothing more, it will be a lot harder for me to criticize a movie henceforth. I would like to thank my fellow cast members Srijit, Sagnik, Adrish and the director Surarian for putting in their time and effort into this film. Thank you. The plot of the movie is quite unique and uh, infuses a feeling of curiosity among the audience. Being a part of Mirage was truly an amazing experience working alongside my friends from school, Surajan, the director, and other cast members. Adri, Sharov, and Sagnik was something that made it an even more enjoyable process. As far as the film itself is concerned, I feel that it's a very interesting film. The plot is pretty engrossing. It, it's pretty unpredictable, so it always keeps the viewers indulged and I feel like it highlights a slightly mysterious and unexpected side of friendship, so 
I would always recommend everyone to watch the film and I'm proud to be a part of it. This short film was shot entirely at home without meeting physically due to the COVID-19 pandemic. What do you think you're doing at 6 p.m. in the evening? I believe I asked the question. Do India Mumbai play a match class? What are you doing all day? Is loading around your stupid guitar of yours? And what are you listening to? Is getting along with my teachers? How about you not being interested in studies or your future? A brother came nine in the state this year, and you are just getting an eighty-eight dollar average. Now go and finish your homework. But Dad, I like playing the guitar. Moreover, I even want to upload videos on YouTube. I think I can play it quite well. Oh yes, yes. And get a hashtag on the street ruffles. Paint your hair blue or pink. That's what you want to become, right? Now stop playing that stupid thing right now before I give it back to Uncle Rakesh. Okay, Dad, I'm going back to work. Rahul Sharma, a 14-year-old, highly ambitious son of a chartered accountant, brother of a state topper, sounds perfect, right? Except his ambition lies in music. Unlikely. Well, to the society, musicians are failure. But in Rahul's life, music is his ultimate dream. Nothing comes beyond it. As we can see, math logarithm problem just got replaced with lyrics of a new song. God help the boy. Well, hello guys. You know what happened today? What, bro? I completed my first tagbar, which functions and replies to simple questions. That's really cool. <laughs> yeah, I really want to pursue a career as a programmer and then get a job in Google. Like, like there is nothing better than that. I already have the basic idea of Java and Python, and I'm already developing my first game. So I think it should be a cake walk for me. So, Rish. You want to pursue a career as a doctor, right? Yeah, I mean, I think I will be quite a good of a surgeon. I love biology, and moreover, a biology teacher also told me that I will be a really good doctor. Rahul, what is your ambition? I like playing the guitar, and I also have picked up the tune of quite a few songs. Let me make you hear the latest one I learned. No, wait. Like, what do you mean? Like, I mean. What do you want to become when you uh, grow up? Who cares about songs? They're anyways available on YouTube. When musicians start, they start by doing covers of other songs which are already famous. Grow a following and then try out their own songs. So let me get this straight. You want to become one of those guitar players in the streets with a hat in front of them for people to tip. Like, come on, Rahul. Your father is such a big chartered accountant. Just think of what he would feel like. Your brother is such a good student. You will end up being a shadow of him. All musicians do not perform in the streets, but yes, they do shows out in the sunlight with thousands of audience watching them perform. A musician is no less than an engineer or a doctor or a businessman. I fail to believe how I will be anyone's shadow. Every person has his own potential, and I believe I would be—I would never be a shadow of a nerd who only knows how to criticize me and make fun of me. I won't be a shadow to the same guy who went on to boast how bad I was and how he was just so great and came ninth in the state. I don't understand how I will be a loser 
if I bring smile to many faces with the help of my music. He thinks he will be some sort of one that, um, yeah, Lennon. Like, what sort of a fool would think that? He doesn't even take guitar classes while I'm taking biology lessons since I was in sixth grade, making people smile from his music. I won't be surprised if he gets kicked out of the house next. Yeah. His, mo his mom told my mom over a call yesterday of how big of an idiot he was. <laughs> he went to our school band selections instead of the quiz. Can you believe that? Who would do such a thing? Yeah, exactly. He thinks he's going to become the next Justin Bieber. Anyways, gotta go. I need to complete the programming for my next game. A lady strikes me hard as I lay that is scarred. In the end, I can't stop thinking of you. A lady stops your dick, but it's the ultimate. It's true that I know you're gone. I should be moving on. Is this how it all ends? I guess we should be friends. But it's all up to you. Yeah, Hello? Mr. Sharma, your son's name is Rahul, right? Yes, sir. Why? Does he play a guitar and sing? Like, does he have a YouTube account? Um, yes, sir. He keeps playing his guitar when he is supposed to study. I have told him not to get into social media, but it seems he might have created a YouTube account. person has the caliber to get 100,000 views in one song at the age of 14, then of course he will spend time with his guitar. Um, hmm. I was very enthralled by the fact that he plays quite well. You never told me about him. You should always support him as well. Not only your elder son. Yes, your elder son has made you proud by many different ways, but your younger son just like to enroll my son Rahul in the academy. So when would be a good time when I can come and meet you? Saturday 4 o'clock works perfectly. Thank you. See you at 4. Bye. Thanks. 
Comic. Perfections. This very world reminds us of how none of us are actually perfect in every way and every sorts. So the basic idea behind String of Luck is to show that everyone is not perfect in every way. Everyone cannot meet up to everyone's expectations. Here, the main character Rahul, he he's he's just not being able to meet up to the expectations from his father, his family members. His family members are excellent in the academy, but he's just he just doesn't have it in him. He's more into music and. other aspects of life which the society doesn't look that much up to but at the end of the day it is to show that what matters is how much one can excel in what one is confident and capable in the very essence of this film connected with the topic imperfections is that no one is actually perfect a perfection is reached when you find out the full capability and your full potential in a particular aspect or a field that you're good at I don't know if it actually came from a story which I've been thinking of for quite some time. When we handed the topics, I found that one of the topics actually matched with the story I was thinking of. Imperfections. The whole role of the short film was to make people understand that every one of us have some sort of talent, but not everyone can actually use it in the right way and in the right time. It was to make the society understand that the word practicality shouldn't ever be changed. some sort of speciality in them and that they should always make use of this speciality in them so i absolutely enjoyed my experience making this film the string of luck this film was shot entirely at home without meeting physically due to the covid-19 pandemic of course we took 10 cuts for each scene but that's part of the journey isn't it now what i learned shooting this film was that every person has their own talent and if we respect that this world will be a much better place to live in finally i hope you enjoyed watching this film as much as we did making it thank you dad i like playing the guitar oh yes yes i even want to upload videos on youtube that's your all day this lovely number is the guitar of yours now go and finish your homework Should I tell him? I will file a court case against you brother
This is absolutely unacceptable. Okay, then I'll meet you in court. Seeing his father and his uncle engrossed in their petty squabbles, he makes his way to the cafe to enjoy his rather peculiar drink all alone, or at least he thought so. Excuse me, I'll have a cappuccino with some caramel and lemon, please. <laughs> I always wondered why they had such a drink on the menu. That's a weird choice you made there, son. <laughs> Uh, I'll have one of that as well. Your order, sir. Never mind what he said. Having stumbled upon someone who finally understood him, someone who didn't make him feel like an alien anymore, Varun and Rahul found people who shared their very differences. However, skepticism grew aplenty. as they embarked on this new venture is this who i am things aren't supposed to happen this way is this is this even right what will dad say but but he makes me feel happy about myself Varun I know I know we're different I know I know for a fact that your parents my parents society in general won't accept us for who we are But then again what option do we have We have to come out to them We have to make them accept who we are even if they don't naturally We must come out to your parents Varun I'm going to talk to my dad about this disease tomorrow I know I know for a fact that it will be very very difficult for you take me with you How can someone be so late it's almost an hour Trust me, it's going to be fine. What do you mean? You're going to take up that up his death? Obviously. Dad, this is the friend I wanted to meet. Come, sit. Uh, do you want something to eat? Uh, no, sir. I'm fine. Dad, we have to discuss something important. So, so if only I could express the multitude of feelings I feel for your son. So we're different, both of us. Whether it be going out with friends or eating lunch with family, you realize we hardly have any friends, and we've been discarded by both of our families. Both of us spend our time in absolute disdain, aimlessly hoping for that one shining light to bring us out of the sea of darkness. So I'm glad to inform you, we found that. in each other i find solace in your son sir i know you might not be open to such outrageous notions of sorts but sir this so this is a this is an undeniable fact for me my days are brighter in the presence of your son and how much ever time i spend with him seems less all that is fine but you are just friends right Yes. Stop the clocks it's amazing Up your head, a million colors of hazel, golden and red. Saturday morning is fading. The sun's reflected by the coffee in your hand. My eyes are caught in your gaze all over again. We will love drunk waiting. So we'll 
hold on to the afterglow. Oh, I will hold on to the afterglow. Hi, this is Vipav Dhamani. Hi, this is Ansh Arya, and I'm here to talk about my experience making the short film *Our Typical*. Being the first time that I did a short film, I was really uh, scared as well as nervous, as well as excited at the same time. The process of filmmaking really fascinates me, and I think right from the day we started writing the script to the last day of shooting and then the editing. I think it has been a great journey. I've enjoyed a lot working with my teammates, and I've learned a lot of new things, which I'm sure will help me in my future projects. I have never been a part of any film before, so this was the first time I was acting in front of the camera. It was a new experience for me altogether, and it was an amazing one too, because I learned a lot from my teammates, whether it was script writing, acting, or editing. Through our film, we show two characters who have their own particular set of differences, which leads to their ultimate demolition. uh what we've tried to do what we've tried to provide a message to society through this film is to be more accepting is to accept people regardless of their sexual preferences and to accept people for who they are not try to change them and break out of these so called social stigmas of these natural things or unnatural things and accept people for who they are regardless our typical cinematography involves a lot of tracking shots and a lot to play with the lighting which sets the mood and tone of the film which is a sad and melancholic so the lighting and cinematography and the camera angles complement the melancholic and sad tone of the movie the lockdown was getting extremely monotonous so thank you core committee for taking up this initiative and being very helpful about it Hey Rahul, isn't this place lovely? Yeah, it's peaceful here. Rahul, I know we have known each other for just about six months now, and I really don't know if I should ask you this, but are you fine? What's the matter? You know. A very close friend of mine and I used to come here a lot. We would come here to distract ourselves from studies, among other things. Wait, you said used to. What do you mean? It was the winter of 2020. Sail and I hadn't met in months, so we decided to meet here. I had undergone knee surgery a few weeks prior, so I was in quite a bit of pain and had to take painkillers, which contained 
হাইড্রোকুইডোন How's it going? See more, see more. Ready for a massage. What's up? Um, uh, so you know how the lockdown restrictions are being eased, right? So I was just hoping we could meet at our old spot. I mean, it's been a few months. Yeah, um, okay, tomorrow at 3? Um, yeah, alright. Sure. See you then. Okay, cool. Bye. Bye. Hi. Hi. Do you need help? No, it's okay. My knee is better than before. So, what have you been doing all these days? What I do best? Sleeping and hoping that I somehow manage to pass class 11 maths. Oh god, yeah. Now in maths there are more letters than numbers. Exactly. The struggle is real. But You'll do well as always, being the topper you are. <laughs> I'm not a topper, okay? Yeah, right. I mean, who gets a hundred in maths? Give me some water. Yeah, sure. What is that? The pain killers to help with my knee pain. You want to try some? Uh, you could try one. It might help you feel better. Well, my antidepressants haven't been exactly working. You're you're an antidepressant. I I I, I don't understand. Don't worry. It's nothing to worry about. Do you think this is safe? I've been taking this for the past few weeks, so I don't think it's unsafe. It helps me feel much better. Come on. Okay. Today was fun. Yeah. Do you have more of these? Yeah, I have an entire bottle. So, do you mind if I take up a few more tablets? Yeah, sure. Is the entire thing? Oh, wow. Okay. Thanks. Wait for them to ask you who you know. Please don't make any sad moves You don't know the half of the abuse All my friends are heathen take it slow Wait for them to ask you who you know Please don't make People who have rooms of people that they love one day Docked away Just because we check the guns at the door Doesn't mean our brains will change from hell Hello? Hi, are you free today? Wanna meet? Yeah, uh, 12 o'clock? Okay, sure, see you Hi Hey, how's it going? I'm good, what's going on with you? Haven't seen you in so long Sorry, you know how it is. That bad? <laughs> Unbelievable. So, um, why don't you go to, go to your um, therapist these days? It's just... It didn't help. Didn't see the point of it. But at least the pills you gave me are helping. What can I say? I have my ways. Uh, you want to... I, I think you might be going a little overboard. No, 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 don't, don't worry about it. I've been taking a lot over the past few days actually. <laughs> and then... And then... <laughs> 
साहिल 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 Are you okay? Sahil, wake up. Sahil, oh God, what's wrong? Sahil, stand up. Suffering from depression, Sahil consumed a fatally large amount of hydrocodone. He passed away that night from drug overdose. His body couldn't take the shock. And then, a few days later, I went to meet Sahil's parents. His father gave me a note which Sahil had apparently written for me. So, what's written in the note? I don't know. I don't know if I want to know what it says. I think you should read it, Rahul. You might learn some things that you didn't know before. You know it's scary, but Sahil wrote that letter for you to read, and I think he deserves to know that you read it. Dear Rahul, I think there's something you deserve to know. The reason why I stopped going to my therapist isn't because I didn't see the point of it. It's just that I was reliving moments I've been trying hard to forget. The tag of a loser has come to haunt me day and night, and makes me feel inadequate. That is why you're reading this letter. This is a reminder for you to do well in life. A reminder for you to do the right thing. Love, Sahil. Dear Mr and Mrs Agarwal I write to you in the hope that you will forgive me I am the one responsible for Sahil's death It was I who introduced him to hydrocodone and on the final night we had consumed a lot of it I now realize my actions had consequences and I must face the repercussions Sahil was more myself than I am and his death is too heavy a burden for me to carry sahil here's to all the places we went and here's to all the places we'll go yours forever rahul tell me your secrets and ask me your questions oh let's go back to the start Through this film, we show two teenagers carry out certain actions that is prevalent in today's society, but isn't spoken a lot about. We made this film solely to show how responsible teenagers can be. They take a lot, they take a lot of things lightly, and consuming medication is certainly one of them. They are unaware of the repercussions and carry a lot of actions casually. We also want to explore the themes of depression more elaborately, but due to time constraints, we were unable to do so. Since the script is one of the most important aspects of making a movie, uh, we had put a considerable amount of effort into it. Initially, we had thought of depression, but we finally settled on drug addiction. Um, 
lot of youngsters they consider drugs to be cool within course when they actually are not so uh, i think our short film laps it brings out the threat posed by drug addiction as well as the theme of the perfections very well because as you see on the one hand rahul who excels at academics and sahil his best friend who is not so good at academics both of them due to their imperfections and tendencies they become addicted to drugs they cause great loss to one another and to their close ones and i think this uh, brings out the destruction and grief drugs can cause in your life thank you during the shooting of the film it all felt very understandable because even we do not know how to go about new challenges or how to express our feelings about them which is what the movie was trying to show however there were parts where we as being amateurs did not know how to go about things when it came to acting or direction or cinematography or any other aspect of the film but there were also times when the team was always advising each other on where all we could improve because of how much of idea we had about the characters whom we were playing so in general the experience felt very different and new but very relatable and understandable at the same time Thank you, Tiara Kuro, Core Committee for organizing this event. Those were some compelling watches, to say the least. Now we move on to the messages from our judges. Our first judge is Mr. Rajdeep Rai, an alumnus of our school who is well accustomed to the world of filmmaking and the creative industry at large. He has worked as an ad filmmaker and also as a music video director. Our second judge is Mr. Keith Mundrell. Mr. Mundrell needs no introduction, for he is a much beloved teacher of our very own school. A huge enthusiast of film and theater, he has a master's in film studies from Jadavpur University to back him up. Our final judge for the day is Mr. Arnum Chatterjee, another ex-student of our school. From his film Unsaid, which won accolades at the national and international level, to his latest venture John Mudin, starring the late great showman Mr. Chatterjee. He has had a roller coaster ride of a career. We thank all three of our judges for taking time out of their busy schedule to evaluate the shortlisted films and present to you their thoughts. Thank you, Readers Club of La Martinia and Mam Rahman for having me as part of this film festival. Uh, I had a brilliant time watching all the films. First of all, congratulations to all four of the teams. I think you guys have done a fabulous job. Uh filmmaking takes a lot of grit to go out there to write a story, to find a camera, to find people, to make to put it together, to edit it and finally put a story together. And I think all four teams have shown incredible grit in the way you guys have gone and made some really really interesting films. So, I don't think films can be judged on a score sheet. It all boils down to whether people enjoy people like watching your film or not and for me i really enjoyed watching all four of the films so kudos to all the filmmakers i think you guys have done a brilliant job i have some specific feedback on the films that i'm sharing with the club members and i hope that they pass it on to you some things that all of the participants who have taken part should keep in mind is that a lot of different people and different people from different backgrounds come together to make a film happen right and there are different departments that come together to to make a film happen there are writers there's the direction team there's the lights there's the camera costumes art the editing the sound department all of them are equally equally important so as a filmmaker you have to keep in mind that not one department gets more importance than the other if you make a really beautiful film but you forget sound if you shoot a really beautiful film but the editing is not on point or you make it really well but the writing is not good enough then the film does not work each and every single one of these departments have to be looked into individually and have to be given equal importance if a film has to be made well one thing that i want you to keep in mind is that sound design is very important film is an audio visual medium and audio is 50% of it So as much as what you see is important what you hear is also very important. So whether it's in form the, of the dialogues, the music, the background score, all of that has to be thought of very carefully. I noticed some of you have not looked into sound that much. You know, in one of the films it was not audible. So if you have problems recording, try using subtitles maybe. Your job as a filmmaker is to get the story across in the best way possible with whatever limited resources that you have. 
you should try and make your films as visual as possible. Film stands out from other mediums of art is because of its visual component, you know. So don't depend heavily on dialogues. Let that be for podcasts. Let that be for stage. Play more with visuals. How much can you say without actually saying it? Without actually saying it with a dialogue or with a voiceover. What can you convey with your camera movements? What can you convey with your lighting? Casting is very important in films. What sets films apart from stage is that in films, the camera is up close and it's personal, right? In stage, you're really far away. So you can't really see exactly what the character is like. So you can have a young person put on some makeup and dress up as an old person or vice versa. But uh, in film, the camera comes really up close. So it becomes very personal, right? And all the character is completely exposed to the audience. So casting is very important. If you can get people, if you have characters in your film who are older, okay, or from different backgrounds, try and reach out to more people and ask them to be a part of your film. You'll be surprised often, more often than not, people will say yes. If they see that you're doing something interesting, they'll be happy to help. Uh, so reach out. If you have an older character, instead of getting your friend to do it, ask your dad to do it or ask your uncle to do it. If you have an even older character, get your grandparents involved. It's very important to keep your films very short and concise. The longer your film gets, there's always the risk of someone getting bored while watching your film and then they don't watch the rest of it. So keep what is necessary for your film. Keep it short, keep it crisp so that every second adds on to the story that you're about to tell. For you, the younger generation, phone filmmaking is a big thing and I think it'll play a big role in the future as well. Uh, most of you have easy access to phones, get those phones or if you don't borrow them from your parents, get an iPhone, get a OnePlus. These phones have incredible camera quality. Uh, change the settings, make sure that you are shooting on high definition. Go out there and start shooting. The more you shoot, uh, the more you learn about how the camera functions, about how storytelling works in general. Filmmaking is all about storytelling. So in case any of you enjoy storytelling, if you enjoy writing essays during your English one classes, filmmaking might be the right background for you. The only way to do it is to go out there, talk to new people, discuss new things, find new things. Because the more things that you find, the more ideas you'll get, the, the more unique your ideas will be. And it's very important for you, especially to keep watching new films, because that is the only way that you will learn. Watch as many films as possible. Read up on films, go on the website, search films. Apart from Netflix and Amazon Prime, try checking out films on Mubi. Uh, try checking out some of the foreign language films on Hotstar. Watch these films, discuss these films, uh, read up on these films and try and maintain a journal of films that you've liked and why you've liked them. And maybe come to school and discuss them with your friends who are equally interested in filmmaking and uh, keep going on this wonderful journey. And I hope you guys have fun making the films that you will. And I wish you all the best. Good evening, gentlemen. Uh, at the very outset, let me congratulate the filmmakers, the actors. I was very impressed to see um, how you have dealt with sensitive themes and uh, the editing. The editing was also very, very impressive. It is very interesting to see that amateur filmmakers can also tell interesting and, and uh, sensitive, sensitive stories uh, along with choosing suitable images. So I think you have, uh, some of you have actually um, proven that you, you have hands-on experience with the camera and the manner in which you have captured these images. I was quite impressed with the, with the use of light and shadow, um, the way in which you capture certain characters' expressions and 
the way in which the actors the actors also you have done an excellent job because the the the, the script writer writes a script and and, and you know it, it's the it's the actors who actually bring it to life so well done and i am definitely hoping to see more films i um would love to watch more such films and i think uh, well done organizers because this was a very good opportunity for uh, young filmmakers to uh, display their talent to to experiment and to put together a uh, uh, to put together these short films i think it was a it was a very good initiative on your part and uh, well done to all of you each and every one who was part of the film and part of each film and thank you very much for uh, having me uh, a judge this competition so uh, once again congratulations and uh, all the best for your future cinematic experiments bye bye Hi everybody. Uh this message is for every uh student who took part in the filmmaking competition organized by Lamartnia. Uh as your senior, not having passed out very long ago, uh, I feel very privileged sitting here watching you guys make movies which was or maybe even now isn't that prevalent in our age group so to speak or maybe the st- the high school students group so to speak i i was given four films to judge or rather watch and every single film i feel made in whatever circumstances you guys were in in terms of just students not having the proper uh resources to pull off film making or the current global condition we are all in which is the pandemic uh keeping in mind uh, the intricacies of cinema of storytelling in general not just cinema uh technical know how i mean ups and downs are always there i mean some films i was very uh, amazed by in terms of the execution considering lighting sound and everything i've i noticed that almost i think every film was dubbed um in post so I mean great stuff I it took me back to my school days in Lamartnia when I was experimenting in all kinds of ways possible at home uh, in front of my laptop taking my friends uh, <laughs> in almost all kinds of crazy activities sitting in classrooms talking about cinema discussing scripts irritating teachers in almost every period getting kicked out of class all of us i mean whoever was making movies because we were coming in the way of teaching we were but anyway it was all fun uh, eventually i convinced teachers to also act in my movie movies and now i'm sitting here watching you guys do some great great stuff on screen making yourself productive during this during the last whatever 8 9 months or so great stuff i really look forward to all of you actually taking this up more seriously in your future and then maybe we could all work together and make something good for our city for our country and even just for the fraternity in uh, at large you are making something if you want to make something in future if you have things ready just send it across to me directly on facebook or uh, instagram or wherever you have me don't feel uh, don't hesitate to contact me in any platform possible if you guys one some sort of connect with me some anything to do don't hesitate just reach out to me and we can i mean i'll be more than happy to communicate uh, to interact with you guys and communicate and maybe collaborate in future so great stuff all the best for future let's do something great together ladies and gentlemen here's the part you've all been waiting for the anticipation ends here I am delighted and honored to present to you the awards for Kiaro Scuro short film making competition organized by Readers Club of La Martinière for Boys. We have the following awards to give out today. Starting with the best editor. The award goes to Yashonandan Kakranya for Laps along with Sararian Mehra for Mirage. Moving to the best cinematographer. 
The award goes to Surari and Mehra for Miraj. Coming to the best actor, the award goes to Dhruv Saraf for Atypical. Coming to the best director, the award goes to Surari and Mehra for Mirage. Coming to the best film runner up, the award goes to Atypical. And finally, ladies and gentlemen, the best film of Chiaroscuro short filmmaking competition. The award goes to Mirage. Ladies and gentlemen, I would like to convey my heartiest congratulations to all the award winners. And I would also like to appreciate the effort put in by each and every participant. Not because this is the thing that should be said, but because this is the thing that makes up life. Thank you. With that, we come to the conclusion of the maiden edition of Chiaroscuro. I would like to give the vote of thanks to acknowledge the efforts and support of those who made Chiaroscuro possible. First, I would like to thank our principal, Mr. Rafi, and our vice principal, Mr. Stephen, for allowing us to host this brand new event. I would also like to thank Ma'am Armstead, Mr. S. Gupta, as well as our teachers in charge, Ma'am Rahman and Ma'am Das Gupta, for their constant support and integral role in organizing this event. We truly could not have done it without them. I would like to thank Mr. Mandrell, as well as our two external judges, Arnab Chatterjee and Rajdeep Ray, for taking out time from their busy schedules to judge this event. Lastly, I would like to thank all of the participants for their hard work and dedication to this event. We received some amazing short films and it was clear that each team had put in a lot of time and effort into their works. Thank you for helping make the maiden edition of Chiaroscuro a success.